Hi all, Susan Gerbeck here from Psychics Explained. <laughs> you guys, um, I'm not going to share a video. We, I and a few other people were on a Thomas John Zoom today. He had a free Zoom event uh, with some readings. And it was to promote a cruise that he's going to be doing in October. So what this is, is he has um, a travel person who books these kinds of cruises. And he gets a free cruise for, uh, they're going to go to the Caribbean. And it's it's going to be really nice. I mean, I've done this exact same cruise and it's it's really, really a nice cruise. And he's going to do workshops on some of the days and they're going to interact. He did the same cruise. I think in 2019 or 2018. And he said that, you know, you spend a lot of time together, you eat together, you end up uh, becoming friends with each other. And he's, he said he's gotten really close to a lot of the people who were on the cruise, which is, would be wonderful if I could go, but um, I'm, I am not going to be able to go. That's just a bad time for me. You know, maybe there's somebody out there who wants to volunteer. Just saying, be in touch. So, <clears throat> He's got to promote this cruise because what happens is um, if they get enough people who go on the cruise, 50 people, 100 people, 25 people, however many, then the it'll go forward and the, um, the cruise director, the person who's organizing it, the cruise, the travel agent, she gets her cut of this. Now, this travel agent is somebody who has worked with Thomas John before she also does all those other kinds of conferences for the Hay House, you know, so all the other mediums and stuff like that. So she's a true believer. Listen, listening to her talk, you could tell she definitely is a true believer. So there was a few things that happened during this. And I'm not going to, like I said, the video, I've got the video, but I haven't got it all uploaded. I'm, I'm not going to share right now because it would take so much editing out of some of the things that happened. So I'll just tell you a little bit about what happened. So first he comes on, there's 90 to 110, mostly women on a, on three Zoom screens. And I'm there with a few other friends of mine who are also in this project and they're there under different names, you know. And so what happens is that him and the cruise director are going back and forth and they're they're doing a really good job explaining how this works. A lot of people haven't done cruises before. And so he's explaining about, you know, they need to have a passport and um, what, it, what it would look like, how many, you know, you get passes and you hang out together and there's, if you book now, then you get these discounts and stuff. It's all, it's all legit. It's all the stuff that you would normally see on these kinds of things. <clears throat> there's a whole industry in this for uh, people who, who book travel to book these small conference things. And then they get a spot on the cruise where they have depending on how many people are in the workshops, they get a, um, like a little, a room. It could be a big room, depending on how many people are joining up or a tiny room. It, it's not, you know, doesn't matter. It's, they will flex depending on the, um, how many people sign up. So, I mean, it's probably a go as long as he gets 25 people or something like that. And he didn't say how many people were on the last one, but what we found really funny, I and all the other people who were watching this, is the tour director said, yeah, it was so much fun last time we went. We were going to do this cruise, um, this exact same cruise in, in 2020, but, uh, you know, we couldn't do it. And, and we all were texting each other back and forth saying, oh, how come you didn't know there was going to be a, um, a problem with that, Thomas John? That was back when he was at Caesars Palace in the Cleopatra's Lounge. He didn't see the pandemic coming and uh, that was what they were going to do with this cruise, but they were planning it, but you know, uh, he didn't notice there was nothing, no energy in the force energy in the force that would tell him that you're not going to be taking this cruise because the world is going to be locked down. Nothing like that. So continuing with what ended up happening, they did their pitch and they explained and, you know, they were selling the cruise to people who were attending He's and Thomas John is doing this as a live stream on Zoom as well as to TikTok. So he's got TikTok people who are 
who were there and he's been a lot on tiktok lately that's been his main area um you can you can at one point somebody he was saying people were sending him roses and those are little like um you pay for those it's like sending somebody a tip a financial tip so he was getting those on tiktok i don't know if that's you know 20 cents or a dollar 50 or $15. I don't know. It's probably in the tiny little amounts. You got to get a lot of people sending you stuff to actually make any money. He then gave some reads and it was fun because we're looking at the different women who were on this call. And as I said, they're all, it's probably 98% women. And the people with the more unusual names are the ones that we know are going to get hot red. So we were going through picking, is it going to be her? Is it going to be her? Oh, how about this one? This one looks good. And so he pulled up this other woman. I think her name was Laura. And he gave her a hot read. And we we're just scrambling to see if we can find her on social media. And um, I can't quite remember what ended up happening with that one. But we he quickly moved to another woman. And I think her name was Brandy. I'm trying to remember. And we were on her like in a hot flash. So we got to her. her uh, she was a young woman. And she says she's a medium herself and her mom, or I think her mom was on the call with her because you could hear them in the background, you know, whenever he would say something like, who's Jack? She would say, uh, and then her mom would come in and say, that's your great uncle, you know, or, or whatever. So we found her really quickly. Her last name is Common. So we went and um, found her the obituary where you could tell he's pretty much reading it back, you know, as we pull up the obituary for this woman's grandmother. And you you can type in her name, you know, in the search field, you know, the find. And the woman who's getting the reading, there's her name. First and last name pops right up, which is how we can find the obituary so easily. And then she was talking about dimes and how, how her grandmother collected dimes. And she's giving all this information to Thomas John. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she writes poetry and she does, and she writes songs and the, and the woman is like, oh, yeah, that's right. And, you know, you could look at the obituary it has there right there. It talks about the dimes and stuff. Thomas John didn't bring it up. It would have been really good if he had. But um, she got she mentioned it first. But right underneath it, it was like, oh, and she wrote poetry and she did songs. It was almost verbatim what he said as how it was written on the obituary. And then you could see that the different people that he was mentioning, Jack and other family members, they're all in this obituary. So, you know, in real time, we have pulled up the, we found the obituary and we're looking at it in the exact same time as he's reading and getting the reading. I mean, we're behind maybe 45 seconds to a minute behind what he has. But then again, he had more time because he knows who's on the screen. He has time to do a little research, find who he's going to do the reading for. And then he putters around for a while like, oh, I'm getting somebody who has a mom and they didn't have a great relationship with them. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And, you know, in that amount of time where he's doing that, he's, he's figure out who he's going to go to. It, it really isn't that take that long. You guys really should try this. It's fascinating to be able to do the hot reads. Some of the people who I'm working with now on my team are newer at this and, and they were, they were finding the hits really quickly. So that was really, really sad. And then another woman um, he goes to, and she immediately bursts into tears and it just was like, oh, this hurts, you know, I'm just, my gut, it just hurts to watch this happening. It is, um, you know, I'm not saying anything and nobody on our team is saying anything. And, you know, of course our names are not on the screen. So, so there's fake names. And so we're using and fake other video things. And so we're just one of 110 or 90 something people. And he is, and immediately, one of my team members pulls up the obituary for the person that this woman is crying over. I think it was her brother. It was really, really awful. I mean, not awful as in um, he wasn't hitting. He was hitting spot on, you know, names and everything. And it was super clear. And it was really sad. Now, the people on TikTok that he did a couple readings for, I think somebody on TikTok, he had one woman perfect she's like your husband died he was 53 years old you know and 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 so on and uh <laughs> we you know it was just 
we couldn't look up the TikTok one because we weren't on TikTok at the moment. <gasps> People are writing in the chat, oh, you're so amazing. This is so accurate. It's just, oh, you guys, it's so hard to watch because we know exactly what's going on. And when you know what's going on, you can't unsee it once you see it. And it, it hurts. Like I said, these people are just like this, this last woman I was telling you about. She's crying. I mean, just like tears all over her face. Very sad. Um, at one point, Thomas John, one of my team members or myself, I'm not going to say which, asked a question or asked, made a statement in the chat and he looks at it reads it and responds and i'm thinking you just responded to us i mean you didn't know it was us or me i mean that's pretty sad thomas i mean very sad um but he didn't know it was us or me and <laughs> very very sad isn't it um i'm telling you guys and so we don't reach out to the people that are getting readings because I find that very intrusive um, and I don't think they're going to respond well to what we're saying, but we're looking right at their Facebook pages or whatever, or the obituaries or whatever that are associated with them. It's it's pretty um, obvious. And like I said, it just takes us a minute or so. And we're, we're delayed because we don't, we're not psychic. We don't know who he's going to call on. So we, we don't have time to look it up. Um, the article that I had that I came out with, the Thomas John, same as he ever was. I'll put a link in the description here. And um, I'm really sad because I'm not seeing a lot of activity by the people who are the victims of Thomas John. I went to a lot of trouble to write that and research that for you. Write it, get it out there. And what we want to do is see that article go to the people who are enabling him or who have enabled him in the past. And to let them know what kind of person they're dealing with. And what I would like is for people to tell their personal stories to whoever they're writing to. CBS or uh, Lifetime or Caesars Palace or different various people who've interviewed Thomas John with a positive, um, you know, enabling, hey, Thomas John, you must be real because of this. You know, you said so. That kind of people who give them a positive, no skepticism at all. We want them to see this article to understand that they are enabling him <clears throat> and that they should come out and say, hey, I didn't realize that. I'm sorry. Now I understand what kind of person this is. And because the enablers are what really keeps people, keeps him in business. This is not something I want to run. I want to be done with this man and i'm sure he wants me to be done with him too it is at the point where the people who are victims of thomas john really need to stand up and do this um, you know you've been complaining to me for what four or five years how do i get my money back oh my gosh you took advantage of me i'm i'm just so angry and they're you know they're going on and on they'll do anything and they'll they'll ride to the ends of the earth yet i'm not seeing hardly anything for these people um, if you're skeptically minded, you've never been a victim of his, well, heck, sure, of course you can still send this out to people. But what I really like to see is people who have been victimized um, by him to tell their own personal story without having me interfere in any way other than I wrote the article. You can share it. You now you have the talking points to explain it to somebody else from your viewpoint. Because, again, people still think this is a game. They think it's entertainment. Um, probably most of the comments I get on Thomas John on my YouTube channel, the one you're watching right now, are all positive and how how mean I am and I need to get a life and I'm jealous and, and whatever because they see it as entertainment or they see it as help. And it is it is frustrating because they're not going any further than the video. In fact, I doubt they're even watching the whole video. So it is, it is very frustrating to um, have all this information. I don't have the time, the management or the bandwidth to manage um, or micromanage a bunch of people doing this. It, it, this isn't my job, you guys. I'm not being paid for this. Um, you know, my YouTube channel, the one you're watching right now, has been monetized for six months and I haven't even made $100 on it. It's just like there's no money in this, Okay. So devoting so much time to this is really 
hard to keep doing it if I can't see that the people out there who I'm doing this for, who've been complaining and, and stressing over the fact that they've been taken advantage of and they've lost a lot of money, if they're not stepping forward and saying, I got this, Susan, let me take care of it, which is what I've been waiting for. And that's really what I need. Or, you know, he just does more cruises and he ends up getting more TV shows and more women are victimized and, and taken advantage of. But, you know, I'm not going to fall for it. So, you know, if you, if you, my conscience is clear, I've done everything I think I can. And, um, you know, it is, like I said, it's frustrating today. I just got a Google alert for Thomas John. It's, I don't know why it's old. It's, uh, for the preview of, uh, seatbelt psychic. And it's, again, it's another enabler and it's a guy who he's in New York and he's, he's showing him it's from PIX, New York's very own PIX 11. So I think he's at some uh, TV host or something. And he's, he's talking about, he's, you know, interviewing Thomas John on the street and he says, oh, you know, what do you think of this? And Thomas John goes, well, you know, New York, they're pretty skeptical. He goes, really? And so he gets in the back seat of this white suv like the equivalent of what you would see on seatbelt psychic and you could see the camera uh, strapped to the car and the guy gets in the back seat in the exact same spot where the people do on seatbelt psychic and thomas john's driving and as soon as he gets in the car he starts ripping on the guy with who's this who's that is your wife are you guys about to start a family and so on he goes oh yeah my wife's pregnant nobody hardly knows that only very few people know that and it's <laughs> He's doing an interview with this guy. He knows he has plenty of time to look up information on him. And the guy's like, oh, wow, I'm a true believer. I'll be watching your show. It's so sad and so gullible. This is the, the example of an enabler. He's enabling him. No criticism whatsoever. It's all completely this is fun and entertainment and maybe it helps some people and I'll just go ahead and go along with it. You know, we don't know if he's gone along with it and gave him information or if it's just typical hot reading, which is common with Thomas Dunn. I'm telling you, it's so frustrating because I've been working on this since 2017. We're in 2024, April 2nd, 2024. And this is no April Fool's joke. If we can't deal with this and take care of this one one low hanging fruit that has so it's so obvious he's been caught so many times and he has this record doing exactly this and there's you know probably a, uh, I know of hundreds of women who are you know up to here <laughs> with him and he's still doing his gigs going on a cruise to the Caribbean making tons and tons and tons of money not doing readings for people he's on he's you know what do you want me to do i don't have an idea i don't have anything else i feel like i can do so sorry to be kind of frustrated with it but you know after watching the what happened today on this the zoom call that we did um which was really horrible horrible manipulation of these women um, we're, we're just watching and recording we're not doing anything we're not saying anything other than the the statement that um, i or one of my people put out there to him and he answered we're doing nothing and we're looking up the people who are getting readings because their name's right there on the screen you can't miss it and seeing what it is that he's repeating back to them but we're not interacting in any other way and i'm telling you it's been a few hours already and i i still feel nauseous from it it's it's really hard to watch this and you know what you guys out there who say i can't watch these things i cannot watch these things they make me too mad well i'm sorry i'm sorry somebody's got to do this somebody's got to witness this somebody has to understand what's going on and I, I'm I'm thankful I have people who will do this with me. But gosh darn it, y'all. I mean, come on. We just can't look away and and see this happening to these these women who are vulnerable and grieving. And and it's just 
hurts. It really hurts. Like I said, it hurts me in my stomach. It feels like like knots in your stomach. And when you see this trick being done to them and you know exactly how it's done and they're just like, oh my God, it's amazing. I can't even go on your cruise. You throw money at you. And I'm going to tell all my friends. And there's nothing we can say or do. I've, I've got what, 25 articles on him and 40 videos on him caught him in multiple stings where he's hot reading and there's no way that he could have um, got the information any other way except from the um, email or the Facebook or whatever it is that we gave him. So I haven't been turning out the videos as fast as I'd like to. Um, again, I've been very frustrated with um you know, I thought that the the article, Thomas John, same as he ever was, is going to be a, be a big deal. And I'm not seeing it. And so it has been hard for me to continue putting out videos because this is an entertainment for me. I've learned a lot, but, you know, I, I appreciate your comments and the subscribers and people leave me wonderful comments and things like that. But I'm here to learn, but I also want to have um, some, I want people to use the information I've given them to do more with it. Anyway, um, if you want to leave me comments, I'd appreciate it. And I will see you soon. Hopefully something will happen where um, I'll feel like there is some progress. I'm really hoping that something like that's going to happen. In the meantime, um, I will catch you as soon as I catch you. You can find me on all my socials, mainly get a hold of me on Facebook um, Messenger, or you can email me at uh, susangerbic at gmail.com. Thank you all. I do appreciate you.